In this Power Mill Quick Tip video, we're going to look at the reorder function specifically for drilling within the Toolpath Edit tab. In this file on the screen, what you'll see is I've got a fifth axis part that I've been programming, and I'm drilling the holes located on the outside perimeter of this part. Now, I've got everything set up within the Toolpath itself to successfully five axis drill this part. And you can see here, if I turn my machine tool on, and simulate this toolpath, that there's some things wrong with the order of the drilling. Obviously, it's starting from a hole in versus from the outside edge hole, coming back to that hole and then trying to work its way around the part. Now, specifically, there is an issue when you get to the transition from one side to the other that the machine doesn't like, and it has to re rotate and wrap around itself. With using the reorder tool, PowerMill gives us the capability to basically use and click on every single movement within a toolpath. As you can see here, if I click on that first move, it highlights here as shown. If I click on a toolpath, we have the same thing. Within the reorder tool, we have several things we can do. We can move toolpaths up and down within the order list as you can see listed from one all the way through to the end toolpath 55. We can reverse the order, in which case everything would be backwards. We can reverse the direction, which in this case with drilling doesn't really work, but with other toolpaths you can do this. And you can use some of the automated functions here, which will allow you to automatically reorder the toolpath. With this toolpath, it's fairly simple what we want to do. I want to take that toolpath and push it up to the top. This top button here actually allows you to move a toolpath straight to the top. And you can see that virtually that update has happened on the fly, taking care of one of our issues right away. Alternately to selecting toolpaths within the window here, which I can do by holding down shift and selecting multiple toolpaths, and you can see that they've all highlighted, you can do the same thing within the graphics window. If I just highlight all of these toolpaths on the left hand side, they've all highlighted in order. Now, the order for these starting at 28 is correct. If I click out into my graphics screen there and re-highlight 28, you can see that that toolpath is the first toolpath within the order and that's the toolpath I would like to start with. So from there all the way down, the toolpaths are in the correct order. So what I want to simply do in this case is select all of those toolpaths and use the top button to move them to start. Now you can see that PowerMill has reordered those toolpaths successfully the way I want them. And if I come back and simulate that toolpath, it is correctly moving and rotating around the part the way I would like my machine tool to do this. All of this is a function within that reorder, and I did not have to open and recalculate the toolpath one time. It was all simultaneously happening while I created the edits. Thank you for watching this quick tip video. I hope you enjoyed it.